In this lesson, we will see together les pronoms et déterminants indéfinis. But more precisely, we will see tel and tel. So the main question is what are les pronoms et déterminants indéfinis? We use the indefinite pronouns and determiners when we don't want to be too precise. And this is the key thing. Huh? These determinant pronoun indefinis are used when we don't want to be too precise. And we would rather give a more general word to speak about a person, a place, or a thing. So it will be possible to use them for a person, a place, or a thing. So, this lesson is about tel and tel. So, we will start with the plural. This time, it's extremely rare when I do that, but I do that on purpose, so there is a reason for that. Tel and tel will be translated with such. It is used to express similarity or intensity. It is used as an adjective. So we'll see some examples. C'était dangereux et ils ont pris de tels risques que nous avons eu peur. C'était dangereux et ils ont pris de tels risques que nous avons eu peur. So as you can see in that case, tel is connected to the noun risque. And in that situation, risque is a masculine plural noun, so you need to put the masculine plural form of the adjective tel. Regardez ce collier, ce sont de telles belles perles. Regardez ce collier, ce sont de telles belles perles. So in that situation, tel here is connected to the word perle, and in that situation here, as you can see, perle is a feminine Plural noun. Tel, belle, perle. So let's see now the singular. Singular is tel and tel, same pronunciation, but then final s is not here. It still means such. It is used to express similarity or intensity, so this is exactly the same thing. It is used as an adjective, same thing too. It is used with the indefinite article, so this is important, and that's the reason why we'll have two examples. C'est un tel défi. C'est un tel défi. So here you can see défi, masculine, noun. So tel will be in the masculine form, this is the singular. Don't forget to put the indefinite article. Un. C'est un tel défi. C'est une telle histoire que l'on a du mal à y croire. C'est une telle histoire que l'on a du mal à y croire. So in that situation, histoire is a feminine noun, so the, uh, the adjective tel will be in the feminine singular, tel, and don't forget the indefinite article, une, une telle histoire, un tel défi. So keep in mind that the article is really important because if you put the definite article, c'est le tel défi, it's a mistake, because clearly it doesn't work with the definite article, it must be the indefinite article. C'est un tel défi, c'est une telle histoire. And now, attention, <laughs> tel et tel. It can be used to express indeterminacy. And in that case, it is used without any article. So we'll see two examples. 
tu peux choisir tel ou tel ordinateur, le résultat sera le même. Tu peux choisir tel ou tel ordinateur, le résultat sera le même. Si elle le souhaite, elle peut venir tel jour à telle heure. Si elle le souhaite, elle peut venir tel jour à telle heure. So remember that it will be tricky. It will be tricky and you'll have to work a little bit on that because tel and tel, we're talking about the singular form here, well, they can have different meanings.